Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome, this is Angel, and we are doing another Let's Play TFTC Reimagined, and we're going all the way back to Battle Zero, because I've inserted a new mission, which is going to be available in the 1.3 patch, or is already available, depending on when you watch this video. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, shut up and take a listen to the briefing. Welcome everyone, it is a pleasure to see so many newly commissioned pilots in our ranks. As you have now completed your training, it is my distinct pleasure to hand out your first true assignments in service to the Imperial Navy. Many of you will be transferred to various different sectors as needed, but to begin with, you will all be flying together. Four Lambda-class shuttles and three Delta-class TX-9 transports will ferry you all to a transfer point in the Commonor system before transiting to your final destinations. Those of you who had the highest scores in their simulator missions have been chosen to fly the transports directly, though an officer will be with you on each ship and will guide you as needed. You will fly the shuttle Grigor and have been assigned to the Javin sector where one of our fringe outposts is located, named D-34. Compared to one of our starfighters, the shuttle is a slow, ungainly craft, but it has strong shielding. Unfortunately, its cannon system was recently damaged and has yet to be fully repaired. To compensate, we have armed the ship with a pair of concussion missiles and some flare countermeasures, but ultimately your ability to defend yourself will be extremely limited. However, it is extremely unlikely you will encounter any threats along the way, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. However, if the worst does happen, remember your training and take evasive action. You will always be in the company of nearby friendly fighters, so you only need to evade long enough before friendly forces engage any potential attackers. Your first priority is to protect your fellow pilots that you are ferrying. I realise it says Sky Struck Academy twice there. This is uh, just a quirk of the engine because the ship or object is called Sky Strike Academy, and the name of it is called Sky Strike Academy, so it turns up twice. So, here we are. Battle 5, sorry, Battle 0, Mission 5 Prologue. Uh, this is a story-based mission. Uh, I came up with this pretty late in the 1.3 patch development. I suddenly, I, I really wanted to do this for quite a while. Uh, the idea of uh, doing like a, a bridging, uh, a mission that bridges uh, Battle 0 and Battle 1. So you leave your training and go to start your campaign proper. Supplies. And so I came up with this. Uh, we're using Sky Strike Academy for the one and only time. I realize it's uh, from the show Rebels, which I think is now Disney canon. I, I'm not quite sure, uh, but there's no reason it can't retroactively exist in Legends as far as I'm concerned. Sound. So yeah, another um, part of this mission is, of course, as you can see, we're flying a shuttle. Not only that, we're flying a shuttle with no lasers. Why did I do this? Well. Because this is mostly a story mission, and it's mostly just you flying around, I, I did want a little bit of combat, but I did not want the player to actively be able to stop the combat or uh, defeat the attackers in any meaningful fashion. Uh, so I had to uh, ask our resident uh, engine editor, Jeremy, to see if we could actually disable the player's lasers. And you can see they also removed the laser bars from the uh, HUD elements here. Um, so yeah, we managed to do that. So the, although you do have the uh, the laser dots on the reticule there, which are not removed, you cannot fire any lasers. Uh, you do have a pair of missiles and you have flares, but that's about the extent of your offensive ability. Now, I guess you could say I took a little bit of inspiration from the opening of Half-Life for this mission. As I said, I wanted this to be a story mission and I wanted more to be that you are more an observer to what's going on than an active participant, hence me kind of removing the lasers from the player in this instance. Uh, this is going to be quite a unique mission. Uh, there will actually be another mission in Reimagined in Metal 9 where you fly a shuttle, at least that one, will, you will be armed, but yeah. Um, something I want to do for the future Reimagined campaigns is try and vary up the mission uh, types. So not just big fleet battles or typical attack defend, but try and make things more interesting, more restricted, or other sort of interesting gameplay elements. So this, in this one, I'm going for you can't really do much against the attackers. You can just kind of take evasive action and just watch the carnage as it takes place. Now we're ferrying a bunch of other pilots. We're in formation with a bunch of other shuttles. 
and we're going to go to a transfer point here. At, uh, I decided it should be the Commonwealth system. It's, I had a look on the uh, Star Wars Galaxy map and decided to come across Commonwealth because it looks like a major trade hub and hyperspace point. So as you can see here, we've got a crap load of freighters. We've got three Star Destroyers there in orbit. Uh, we've got a couple of stations, uh, at least four, four, no, six stations, two platforms and four uh, cargo facilities. And I'm just trying to sell here that this is a, a nice, relatively uh, busy uh, transfer point where the Imperial War Machine uh, is uh, spreading its uh, tendrils throughout the galaxy. So right here now you have to stay in formation. This took a bit of trickery with the goal condition triggers. Uh, I found this did not work as I originally intended it to. If you go outside, I think it's 1.5 kilometers of the shuttle Levar, you will fail the mission. Because right, I, I want to keep the player within a fairly confined area for the f initial part of this section for this to work, at least uh, for what I want to, to happen here, because very shortly you're going to see some uh, something happen. Which again took a little bit of work for me to, to get um, how I wanted to in the engine. But yeah, you can see we're just getting close to the convoy, we've got fighters, and there we go. We've got some explosions happening there in the distance. Final jump coordinates are being set now. Prepare. Now, those are basically separate uh, things exploding around the station, and they're causing damage to the station when doing so. Um, they're basically invisible uh, models, uh, in large invisible models, because I wanted a big explosion, and uh, they're just puppet around the platform, and they will self-destruct at a certain point. And you get this emergency distress call, and as that happens, you get six X-Wings that jump in, two of which start targeting you. And not only that, they launch torpedoes at you. I think this is possibly one of the only times you're going to have torpedoes fired at you rather than missiles. And they do a lot of damage, at least if you get hit by two of these, you're probably dead, unless you manage to uh, uh, get your shields up to 200%, or at least uh, 150. So, six X-Wings. These X-Wings have been specifically buffed a little, they're going much faster than they normally would. And the freighters here are, are a bit weaker than they normally otherwise would, because what I'm trying to sell here is... The Rebels are coming in, there's a nice hit and run, and they're just going straight through the freighters. Bam, 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 bam. Done. Out. They're gone. Your only means of defending yourself here, as I said, are the missiles. You have flares, and you can just take evasive maneuvers until the torpedoes explode. You can fire a couple of missiles at the the X-Wings, but you won't kill them. You don't have enough firepower to kill one of them. Your best bet might be if one of the friendly fighters manages to damage an X-Wing enough, you can probably kill it that way. Maybe, if you're lucky. But uh, yeah, otherwise, you're not meant to kill them, really. And basically, kind of going back to that uh, Half-Life element where you're seeing stuff happen. And I want to show not only the, the world building of the Empire and its uh, the scope of its resources and power, but how despite that power, it is still vulnerable to hit and runs of the rebels. And it's I, I wanted to try and set up um, what is to come for the player uh, as they go forward uh, playing Tie Fighter, at least the reimagined campaign, anyway. And so I'm hoping that I will succeed in this. This is a experimental mission, I would say, and I'm hoping it will pay off uh, in that it's, it'll be an enjoyable mission, even though there's almost no combat for you to engage in. I, I, I'll try to keep it interesting visually. There's always something interesting for you to look at. Uh, there is an element of survival where you have to avoid the X-Wings, but it's only very brief. Once one of your uh, entourage is destroyed, uh, the X-Wings immediately move on to the transports and will bother you no more. So you really only have to avoid them for about 20-30 seconds at most. But if you're not paying attention, you're not on the ball, yes, you can still die. And just try, trying to sell how quickly you, your life could be snuffed out in this situation. And it also showcases, I think, the superiority of the Rebel Fighters over the Imperial ones. Uh, that they can just jump in, smash a load of things, and jump out before you can even do anything or react. And here we are, D-34. The first time we will now see D-34 is here. We've got some of the traffic here. You can see the modified Corvette Juno in the left-hand side. This is our assignment. The middle of nowhere. Silence. 
And yeah, the, the radio chatter here is basically kind of one of the guys is complaining, what, what the hell is this in the middle of nowhere? Uh, and yet this will be the start of our epic campaign in TIE Fighter Reimagined. Ships. We've been expecting you. Proceed to dock Compared to Commodore, D-34 is definitely like a more of a backward, or oh, sorry, a backwater outpost. Nowhere near as much traffic, just a half a dozen freighters. We will, of course, up, our first job will be inspecting some freighters in the next mission. But yeah, um, I, I'm thinking about doing a couple more missions like this uh, earlier in, and inserting them earlier in the reimagined campaign uh, as a sort of bridging mission as you get transferred from one to the other. But I, I don't know. I'm going to see how well this mission is received uh, first in 1.3 before I uh, do anything crazy like that. Uh, one thing to note... A, the shuttle can't fit in this hangar apparently because it clips through, which is funny. Uh, but the other reason, um, this mission, because of the way X-Wing Alliance works, um, if you install 1.3 and your pilot progress is already beyond battle zero, the next playable mission in your campaign room will be this mission, regardless of where you are in the campaign. You could be on battle seven, and then your next mission will be battle zero mission five. That's just the way the, the engine treats it. There's not much, unfortunately, I can do about that. Um, so, you know, it can mean, obviously, that the story will play out of context. And don't worry about the blank text here. That was a little bug on my part. I've already fixed that. Uh, so, yeah. If not, that's that's this mission. I really do hope uh, you enjoy it when you get to play it. It's just a little thing, and uh, it took a little bit of crafting to get this to work because I wanted very specific. You can see here, detonator. That's what I called the uh, the little bombs that go off. And of course, we have a new ship model here as well. Instead of getting the Tie Fighter now, you get the Lambda uh, shuttle as your first little ship model in the pilot's room. I thought it would be worth doing this. As, as a new sort of element you can have uh, in your pilot's room. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, I, I do look forward to you playing it. 1.3 patch is almost out as of the release of this video, I think. And if not, it's already out. So please go and download it and play it. Uh, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And uh, until next time, good hunting.